Good afternoon. My name is Jack David, Safety and Quality Manager, CAE Global Academy Phoenix, Sabina Airline Training Center. Every year, thousands of foreign pilots are involved in aircraft incidents and accidents. Most right here at Sabina. Today, I take you to the crash site of our latest accident involving a Mr. Ashish Gupta. Just moments ago, he crashed into an Arby's restaurant on Higley Road. Let's begin our post-accident investigation with a P-test and interview with the pilot. First of all, Mr. Gupta, I see you have survived the accident. Are you okay? What accident are you talking about? I have been in no accident. Yes you have, you just climbed out of that smoldering wreck of an airplane. No sir, that was not me. Besides, if it was, it would not be my fault. My instructor never showed me a forward slip to a parking lot. I know you just crashed your airplane, Mr. Gupta. No. The only problem I see here is that I landed in the parking lot of a restaurant that slices up and serves cows, a very sacred animal in my religion. It looks like your propeller did a little slicing of its own. I'm going to have to mark this event, GRND. Dash prop. Underscore cow. Meaning it is a prop strike with a recipient of the propeller's leading edge being a chunk of discarded roast beef. This will certainly affect our percentage of preventables for the year ending to December 31st, 2010. Can't we just glue the propeller back together? I don't think anyone will notice. No, I'm afraid not. The FII will also require you to fill out a Form 357 Alpha. Accident involving a quick service restaurant. Now, Mr. Gupta, please tell me why you had to make a forced landing. That's simple, sir. I had a radio failure. A lot. A calm failure, sir. I could not contact Sabina Dispatch on 1, 2, 3.3. Mr. Mike was not answering. And that caused you to crash into the parking lot of this family dining establishment? No, but it prevented me from getting fuel. You see, I had to take off with nearly empty tanks, because I was unable to ask Mr. Mike to phone Tango 1. Why did you take off then? It was only a 3 hour flight sir, I could lean the mixture and complete my mission. Sadly, for some completely unrelated reason, I ran out of fuel during my left downwind departure, and had to land here. Who is your instructor? Mr. Spoo. Oh, I see. That makes perfect sense. His teaching methods may work at one of those ISO 9000 schools, but they don't fly at our Six Sigma operation. Well, no point in making a fish phone chart to figure out the cause of this mishap. I'll assign you to a new instructor tomorrow. Now, how about a sandwich? Oh Mr. David, you crack me up.